Hello. Uh, this is part two of uh, using Microsoft Swift key keyboard. Now the part uh, for copying and pinning, copying, pinning, and saving tablets. So you just open one. Um, you open one conversation. So let me open that. Then I click here down and see if I want to type something. So you'll see that uh, my keyboard was enabled and here it is. So assuming that uh, I want uh, to do what? To go and save my tablet. How do you know where your tablets are? They are here on this uh, clip, on the clipboard of this keyboard. So this is the symbol of the clipboard as you can see. This one here. So you tap there, you open. So here are all my tablets which I have copied and pinned. Yeah, so you can see on my far right, this is where you click to pin. Pinning a tablet uh, se secures is it from being deleted abruptly. So you may delete the tablet or the message or the, the, the text that you, you had already copied. If you do not pin here, it, you can either delete it manually or after some time it just disappears. That is how uh, a clipboard works. If you don't pin your your tablet or your copy text, it just disappears after some uh, minutes. Yeah, so you must pin it by clicking here. You know, like these ones, mine, they are black, so I have already pinned them. Let me click and see what it will do. It has unpinned. You can see it is clear now. When I click now to pin, it becomes dark, right? And so, that's it. So, saving tablets. So, after you have copied the uh, text, here it comes here. Then, uh, the next step after you have copied the text, you should uh, click, you should pin by clicking here on your right side, the, the, the pin, pin icon. For it to be dark. After you have done that, next step is a you to save your tablet. Yes, save your tablet using a shortcut. So you click on manage. I believe you can see my cursor here. You click on manage. After you tap there, here we come. So uh, as you can see, here are my tablets. All of them that I have pinned, I've copied and pinned. Yes. So how do we save a shortcut? Saving a shortcut helps you while typing to respond quickly to many people, to, for example, many tablets. Uh, no, sorry, not many tablets, but to many prospects. Sorry. Yes. So I'm going to show you to illustrate just with an example of uh, how I name my, my tablets. Start with the one that I pinned in the first year. So what do you do? You just tap there on your tablet. So it appears this way. Here is your clip content. This is what your tablet, the information of your tablet. And here, where it's written shortcut. This is where now you save a shortcut of uh, your tablet. So the shortcut you write here, or the sh shortcut you use to save here, is the word you will be using referring to this tablet here above. So for example, this one I know, it is my first tablet that I use to respond to someone who, uh, 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 a prospect from WhatsApp, yeah? So I save this as guest one or prospect one, I know Prospect first tablet, but uh, first for my case I save G1. That is guest uh, tablet number one, guest one. So this one, once I write that one, I know that I'm responding. Once I want to respond to someone who uh, a prospect from Facebook, uh, uh, the prospect has inboxed me with the starting with the one guide or maybe in the rest and information. I just type G1, then it appears. So. After writing the shortcut there, I click on save. So you can see it is saved here. Just check here on top, just here where my cursor is. 
they are saved. Let's go to the next. So that's how they follow each other. So the next will be G2. If you make a mistake of saving the same same name, it will not accept. Tell you that it's uh, it's in use. Another thing you should re you should remember your shortcut. So this one I'll I'll, I'll, I'll uh, up G2. Then I click on save. Ensure that you save. You don't cancel. So you can see they are saving themselves. This one is the bad one. After that person has responded to the second one to say G2. Now this one is done depending on the kind or the type of the response that I get. So this one is G3. That is guest uh, tablet number three. This one is the fourth one. I'll make you a vision. Yeah, this one is uh, the fourth tablet. I save it as G4. Uh, wait some minutes to confirm this one is the fifth. I believe the last so that I start now sending the the location, the other tablet for the book for the book the booking tablet. So I click there. So uh once we come here you see thank you for showing interest to work with us. This is someone this is a friend such a prospect, you know after they respond info. So this one I just save it as info. So the moment they write info they just appear. Yeah. That way. Yes. So uh, thank you for watching this. Part 3 will be now showing you how to use the tablets and how now to use the shortcut uh, in a chat or in a conversation. How now do you, how does it appear? How, how do you write the shortcuts and how does the tablet appear? How, 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 do you, how do you get to be assured that that's the tablet in a conversation? So thank you for watching this. You can watch the part 3 of uh, the video. Thank you very much.